There was a black market. Is the act of controlling someone with the use of mind games and psychological manipulation. The deadly thing about this kind of blackmail is that it can be very easy to miss it. It is very subtle and hard to detect. You might be priding yourself in the fact that you're immune to emotional blackmail, but a pro blackmailer has a way of meandering into your life gradually but surely when you don't even know it or see it coming. That being said, here are 10 signs that someone is trying to blackmail you. As usual, if you enjoy watching our video, please help by clicking that like button below. And if you're new to this channel, don't this has to do with making issues out of simple situations or turning simple issues into very complex and complicated ones. It means turning events, statements, and situations upside down to become what they are not. Uncle, you pause the video because it's true. The basic meaning of this is that emotional black tends to change the storyline to suit themselves, even when it's all a lie. Of course, this will mess you and everything you believe in. This includes your positive thinking, that's what AEL Tarot is doing. That's Such all she been doing. Reality, mental health. And... I'm beginning to think that intuition girl is doing that to it too. Oh, yeah. Mind. I'm a face off by standing solemnly by what you know and believe in. Let nobody tell you otherwise. Number two, guilt tripping. This is a very common attitude among people who thrive on emotional blackmail. The end game is always to turn an action of yours on you and make you feel bad for doing or saying such. Constantly banking on your sympathy to draw you out will make it easier for you to compromise on your beliefs, which is the highlight of an emotional blackmailer. They make use of your compassion against you when they guilt trip you. This is made worse when the people around... Uncle, you pausing it because it's true? That statement is true? That previous statement that you just said is true? So they're pausing it some kind of way? Uncle, is it true? Oops. Sorry, Uncle. My bad. I apologize. Number three, punishments. There are a million and one healthy ways to give yourself space and time to think over a disagreement, and discipline is not on the list. An emotional blackmailer cashes in on an unfortunate situation blames you, and tries to sell to you that there are consequences you have to suffer. At the beginning, you overlook them, but with time, you grow to live with being punished for every disagreement you have with them. Automatically, you seek ways out of having these disagreements and begin to accept that they're always right. Number four, threatening to hurt themselves. A key characteristic of an emotional blackmailer is that rather than threatening to harm others, they threaten to bring harm to themselves. They do this because they know that you'll be frightened for them and won't forgive yourself if anything happens to them. They do. Uncle, did you just pause that somehow? Is that previous statement is true? Do this chiefly to have control. These bitches on YouTube are emotionally blackmailing me. And you're not getting away with this. You're playing for the wrong team. You gaslight bitches. Message. Very calculatively. 
An advantage of the emotional blackmailer over regular people is that they are often calculative. This helps them to be one step ahead and be able to have control over you. You don't need rules of any kind to achieve true happiness in any friendship or relationship. So, question that calculative behavior of theirs. Number six, protection. Protect myself. Stop watching these gaslighting, emotional gaslighting videos. Oh. Every setting, as it provides them with the perfect cover to get away with anything they want. They just tag it protection and then control the hell out of you. They do this under the guise that it's for the greater good and that they are looking out for you. They do all of these to make sure you feel indebted to them. That way, you cannot say no to them. Number seven, giving of incentives. That's horrible. It is not out of place for an emotional blackmailer to give some handouts to people just to get them to do their bidding. It may come in the form of a favor, a gift, or interestingly, in the form of a very priced jewel that you covet so much. By the time you're down for them, you have no other choice than to bow to their whims and caprices always. Number eight, threats. Blackmailers resort to issuing of threats whenever they sense the slightest form of resistance to getting what they want. They believe that by acting in such manner, they are gaining control over the situation of things. And if you're already all in, you'll have no other choice than to either obey them or face what they'll do to you. Number nine, they shame you with your flaws. It takes a great deal of courage and boldness to own up to and accept one's flaws. It's a feat that's worth applauding. Problems arise when other people repeatedly beam the searchlight on those flaws whenever you make a mistake. They always blame the errors you made on your flaws. It is one of the major strengths of an emotional blackmailer. They shame you repeatedly about your weaknesses, and this damages your self-esteem beyond repair. Your most vulnerable state is when their strength is maximum. This makes you become scared, afraid, doubt yourself, and even rely on them more than you believe in yourself. The worst part of it all is that the emotional blackmailer will be there, assuring you that they're trying to make you better by being honest with you. They twist your mind so much that you feel that they're doing you a favor by hanging around you, and that no one else can put up with your shit like they do. And number 10, they are experts in the blame game. They are definitely the last people to ever admit that they are wrong. They'll employ every manner of tactics and methods to get you into believing that you're the one who's wrong while they're right. One of the major things an emotional blackmailer lives for is to make you take responsibility for their actions. They always find a way to push the blame to you seeing as they're experts at playing the blame game. So what's your opinion about this? I hope you enjoyed